Hello and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. And this is Tech Guy from The Hive. And, and welcome, welcome to, to FlossTube. Tube. We are so excited to be back with you today as we are going to go into detail on all of our mania plans for the month of May. Um, but we thought we'd get started kind of with our normal floss tube stuff, kind of whips, finishes, haul, giveaway, things like that. And so, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump in. We have a lot to go we, over. The couch on this side, like we're crammed on half the couch because the couch on this side, half of it is full of rubbish. And if you actually look at it right now, it I'm kind of terrified of what, what's I feel on. like I should take a picture and then post it on Instagram so you all can see what it looks yeah, it's like. It's a lot. But I'm not going to do that because I'm me. No. Okay, so um, do you want to start with whips? Or I'll start with whips. We can start with whips. I just don't have anything yeah. to, uh, okay. to contribute. Well, I mean, okay. Eh, I don't. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, so I worked on um, the Quilters Cottage. Uh, this will get done before Mania starts on the first. Uh, a couple days. Yeah, so I think last time I showed you this last week, I um, worked more in the house. And so I've just got like greenery and tree trunks left so yeah all the green and the tree trunks but i've gotten everything else done and then that will be it i did get a frame when we went to ikea this week and i am super pumped about yep. that um so those were that was my whip but i had whips and finishes this week too oh. um yesterday i just like head down got so much work done at least someone of us did. yes <laughs> so i finished um isn't that cool yep so i finished the top of this table runner i showed you guys that last week the mice the mice, the mice. so there's one the fussy cut in the middle yep look at me go and whoop here's the other one i know you guys can't see the whole thing in there let me just cover up <laughs> your face actually I have, to, I have to get this um okay so then here's the other table runner mm -hmm. these turned out so stinking adorable and they're thin um like they're skinny table runners but yep. i really like that and then uh, we did a quilting tutorial we filmed it last week um it's right posted. yeah right before we did our floss tube and i think yep. we mentioned that it's posted now on our channel so if you haven't seen that yet head on over um to our channel and you can see that um, I taught everybody how to do a nine patch quilt block, which most people know how to do, but beginners might not. So we did a nine patch and then I taught you my method on turning it on point, which means that you turn the square so that it sits on its points. A lot of comments about making it easy, so. Yes, so this, um, this right here is what it means to be on point. So instead of flat like that. Turn it to a diamond? Yep. Um, but somebody corrected me and said it wasn't exactly a diamond sorry, shape. Sorry, sorry. So, um, and so I just added some borders around four of those and made <laughs> this uh, little mini quilt or table something. Table. You're going to make something fun out of it. Yeah. yeah. I thought, you know, I want to use up what I, like the little scraps that it was creating. And right. so I just threw that together. Just kind of whipped it up. Just kind of whipped. He jokes about that all the time. Just kind of whipped it up. I'll come home so, from uh, work and she has like some other project done. I don't yeah. know how she does it. Today my project was cleaning out my studio. Um, I wanted a clean studio and I really wanted a lot of my whips finished before Mania started because I already feel like I'm going to have so many projects. I mean, I will have 31 projects started. And um, with the way I have it scheduled out, I should be able to finish um, at least the quilt projects that I have going. And so I really wanted like a clean workspace. So I went through, I am taking two boxes of things for donation. I have just really like, I mean. It's like a clean slate. Yes. I, of, that's I what I needed way to, in here. In best here. Way to do it. So that's what I'll I did it. today. The kids, uh, we let the kids play video games on the weekend because we do school throughout the week. Yep. And, um, and so they got to play video games and watch movies today. And so I just really like really put my head down and got the room clean yep. yeah okay so let's talk about haul um i have some haul and then i have um something super fun to share with you too Ooh. i mean i feel like this is all super fun <laughs> but i have a tip 
on a product that I had, I've had for a while, and I didn't realize. Anyway, we'll get into that later. Spoiler alert. Um, well, why don't you refresh them before we get into new stuff? Refresh them on what you're working All on. All right, so I am on the Frosty Forest. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, right here. <laughs> Frosty Forest. I honestly have not touched it since we uh, filmed last. Uh, I've got a tree, and I've got some several trees that I'm going to do, and uh, border with snowflakes. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the helpful comments. Uh, down below what to use uh, yeah. headlamps things like that you guys were funny yeah. uh, there's like, several comments that we were in Ikea and I started busting up laughing uh, yeah. you guys are super sweet so thank you for the encouragement um, I don't know if I'm gonna get this done before mania starts uh, my goal is to get as much as I can done with this project when mania starts I'm gonna flip-flop time to do that so like 30 minutes a day if I can do an hour split it up yeah. in two projects uh depending on what the work schedule looks like uh and things like that but uh i want to complete both of these projects by the end of the next month uh compared to what she's got going on i think i should be good with that um i think he's doing such a great job and um on the live stream last week with priscilla and chelsea and kimberly Priscilla was saying that she got that Ot light on Amazon, so I went to their Amazon store, and that Ot light is battery operated, and it's like less than twenty dollars. So I'm gonna order him that, and hopefully that will help. Um, and I've tried a lot of the comments, uh, yeah. like suggestions, like a, a white pillow, uh, sunlight. That's probably the only thing I haven't done is actually been like next to a window yeah. and actually doing that. Yeah. Um, but thank you again for the helpful comments. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. They're funny. Um, thank you for the encouragement. I'm still not going to show you guys the back of that thing. <laughs> it's a disaster. You're learning. Um, it's okay. Every, but some I'm people's actually, backs aren't pretty. But I'm actually looking forward to get these two projects done and looking for the next project. Yeah. And that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Okay, so let's go over some haul yep. and collections of things. Um, so for Mania, I knew that I needed, um, and I think I shared this with y'all, he decided he really likes to stitch in a Q-snap, so for Mania, I ordered 6x6, 8x8, and 11x11, so now the only one, uh, I don't have any of the extension kits, but anyway, I would like to have multiples of these eventually, um, because I feel like it is letting me stitch a lot longer than I would typically be allowed to. So um, I ordered all three of those Q-snaps. That's exciting. Any of these products that we talk about, they're all going to be linked in the description box below. Right. And let me know if the links aren't working or anything like that. That is a super quick fix. And um, so we can get you hooked up. So three Q-snaps in different sizes. And it comes if you all will, will remember, I broke this ruler a in a video. Day. I dropped it on the floor and the corner just snapped off. So um, I ordered a new one. This is a Cute Cuts ruler. It's six and a half by twelve and a half. And y'all, look, I don't, I didn't realize how much I used this ruler until it was gone. It broke, and I was reaching for it, and I was like, oh, I you don't just tossed it, it on the floor. I had to toss it on the floor. Okay, I did order some sticky board because Fat Quarter Shop is carrying this now. So I've never used sticky board, um, but I ordered some. I'm very excited to mount and um, frame some things, do some different projects, different finishes, with hopefully some of my Mania finishes. And do you guys use the self-stick yeah. uh, boards? I got this at Fat Quarter Shop. It's eight by 10, but they sell a ton of different sizes. And um, I'm not gonna quote it. It was less than $5 is what I paid yep. per sticky board. Um, I'm not gonna quote it because I don't 100% remember. And Remember. I think we, we talked about this last time. I would like to know what y'all use as a, a grip, like a Q-snap, or do you guys just do the hoop, um, or do you guys do um, like what a kind of tools? Stand yeah, or anything. like a tools. I would like to be. I'm super interested in what you guys use. Yeah. Um, on that, because I've seen these things that like go on the side and they like swivel. They're called like a Lowry stand, I think. I'm probably way mispronouncing that. Um, but man, that stuff looks super interesting because basically it's sitting in front of you. You don't, you don't have to like hold it with any, you just stitch. Huh, like yeah. a freestanding? Mm -hmm. um, I also got two more packs of bow and needles because <laughs> there are six in a thing and so that's 12. So, um, and Kimberly sent me one last week because I kept bending mine for some Who reason. Who does that? 
I know I keep but I'm just way too hard on them so um, I picked up two more packages of those we have plenty and let's see oh this is super exciting um, I got in the mail this week I ordered the B stand which I have wanted since they came out with it and so I ordered the B stand it's called the B's knees book stand by Lori Holt of B and my bonnet and y'all it's so cute it's this like teal color that is everybody's favorite reminds me of a music stand and it's so nice and it like oh it's not it's way out of focus now um and it comes with this stand and i mean it's so adorable it's trying it's to focus. trying to focus the shininess there's a huge b um in the middle in the middle like metal stamps yeah and it's so cute so this is something that it's so emma um, puts out um, and it's Lori Holt and it's so cute. So is it a display piece? It's so and this is this is my thing. It's so adorable. It um sits up and it like holds your quilt books or your like patterns or whatever as you're working on them. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of like a middle school music stand. Yeah. <laughs> when we were in band. Yeah. So this I just think it's super. I mean super super cute. Yeah. So I did get that. So I will set that down there. Seven. Okay. What else did I get? I know these. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is this super fun little tip thing that I found. So I don't know if y'all have seen these. These are the button storage holders. And Fat Quarter Shop sent us these in a package maybe two months ago. It's like happy mail. Yeah. They sent us this super sweet note saying um, just some really encouraging Virgin things. Words. Yes, and um, so these, they they sent me three, uh, this teal color, a white one, and a red one, which is holding Please. some RFL thread over there. And it's really interesting because um, you take the, um, my friends are being silly, my phone's going off like crazy over here because I said, stop texting me, we have to film, <laughs> and now they're texting a hundred times. <laughs> so if you hear that, I apologize. Um... So anyway, it's storage inside and like blocked storage. So here's my tip. I was cleaning the sewing studio today and I was trying to figure out like these are empty and I could be using them. They're so cute Great. and um, they are perfect. So I'm trying to, so I put my um, floss in here. I told y'all I was looking for something to keep my floss. Absolutely. So if I keep them on like the little beekeepers or on these little white spools, then I can separate them. So like in the center, I've got like the blacks and grays. Here's different hues of brown, greens, blues, and they all just fit so nicely in there. Make sure you label your little spools too because you'll forget what they are. And then in the white one, which is just as adorable, um, I've got whites and creams in the center. What is this? Pinks, reds, oranges and yellows looks like a peppermint yeah so and it just kind of holds all my dmc floss i love this and they just like stack on top of each other so nicely and they just sit up on my shelf over nice. there yeah so you'll put that down there yep all right and let me just make i'm making sure here okay and our very last um, bit of mail that we got, well, so that was all our haul, mm -hmm. and our bit of mail that we got Happy mail. is super exciting. Y'all, we got our hands on some cross-stitch journals. If you have not seen these um, given out by Fat Quarter Shop, it's an It's So Emma pattern. You can keep 50 projects in here, and I mean 50 projects, that's more than mania. Um, so you've got your stitchy list, 1 through 50, and then here is what a project page looks like. I want it to focus so you can see it. So you've got um, room for the pattern name, the pattern designer, start date, end date, stitched on, so you make sure and list what you've stitched it on, stitch, little, stitch, count. stitch count, stitched size. Right. Then down here, some floss, then your time tracker, which I think is great. And then any notes, like let's say you changed X, Y, Z. You deviated the from the plan. You deviated from the plan. Yes, that was interesting to see. It was really nice to see. Deviate. So there's enough for 50 projects in there. That's a lot. And then the very end, 
This is thread inventory. So you can list all your threads there and keep an inventory of those and then a notes page. Boom. Yes, I'm so pumped about this. So this is a phenomenal, I mean phenomenal like mania planner. It's awesome. It's an organized place and it's yeah. all kept together and it's not like you have one uh, yeah. notebook here, one notebook here, one notebook here. It's right. all together. Right. And you can write like 2019 on the cover or, oh, and this book, book belongs to and you could write 2019 in there and kind of keep a, a memoriam of what you do throughout the year, which I think is super, super exciting. So this is the cross stitch journal. And because it's mania, we want to send one of you this journal. Absolutely. Yes. So comment down below. I'm going to steal this from Pr Priscilla and Chelsea. Don't say giveaway. Don't say like anything free or anything like that in the comments because there are people who do search um, giveaways on YouTube so that they can just get something for we free. We want to reward and, the people that are yeah, watching this. Yes. And we want to give it to someone um, who watches our videos and, yep. and really enjoys these Supports kinds us. of things. So we want to give, um, you know what? I'm feeling super generous. Let's Ooh. give two people a cross stitch journal. Yes. Yes. So that comment is. down below. I want to know, hmm. hmm, what can be the question? What you're working on a mania? Okay, yeah. I want to know your what mania you plans. Yeah. Yes. I want to know your mania plans. If you are doing mania. If you're not doing mania, say, um, you're crazy. Why would you do that? I'm not we'll doing We'll still mania. accept that as an entry. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. And then at the end of your response, make sure you put cross stitch journal so that I know you are intending to enter the giveaway. Absolutely. So we'll send two of you guys. Yes. Those. And I'll get them out. Let's put them. So um, Huh? That's so fun. It is so fun. It's fun. So for the duration of Mania, we're going to upload Floss Tube every Monday. And so you've got until next, uh, let's say next Sunday to enter the giveaway. Yep. And then on Monday, we'll pick a winner and announce it in our Floss Tube. Awesome. Yeah, so I've got a couple of those. That'll be so exciting. Let me read the official um, release. It says, if you've caught the cross stitch craze, which I think yeah. everybody has, and need help supporting or <laughs> supporting need help sorting through piles of cloth and floss it's so emma has the tool for you the cross stitch journal allows you to record every detail for every cross stitch project such as a pattern designer time spent and floss and cloth used keep track of 50 products and inventory of all of your thread with an inventory list with its compact spot size and spiral binding Easily take it with you wherever you go. So this is a very small, and so it would fit down in your bag. Like your um, eat, sleep, stitch, repeat bag. It would fit in that really nicely. Or it would be good in a bag if you're going to a DMC run. Yeah. To, uh, online or going to a yeah. store. I think that would be super cool to bring with you. Oh, so yeah. So you're not bringing in like a list. Yeah. You just flip through each project and uh -huh. kind of do a check mark that you have it. Yeah. So like, yes, that's true. So like if you're running to the store. Or driving. To, or driving or whatever <laughs> then you can make a list and it's kind of a more discreet notebook yes yeah so um still I think a that's lot all... to go through i know still a lot now we are what is it like 12 minutes in yep. <laughs> something like still that still going to the crazy and we're just now getting to mania yep yes so i haul was extremely exciting this week um wrapping up like getting our last minute supplies for mania that mail call that we had um, from Fat Quarter Shop, that was really cool. I was really excited to get our hands on some of those journals and to be able to share them with you guys. So I'm super pumped about that. Um, so we're going to give two away and then they gave us some extras for some future giveaways on floss tube. So I'm yeah. really excited about that. Okay, so now that we are so far <laughs> into this video, let's go ahead and talk about Mania. Yep. So I did something very last minute today. I knew that my project bags were small and I intended them to be small, but I also knew that I did not want my patterns to go inside of them because I didn't want them to get thrown around like kind of Red or wrinkled or wrinkled. Wrinkled or yeah, anything like yep. that. So what I did is I always intended for my patterns to be separate. And if you have seen our project bags, um, look back at the tutorial, um, I, again, didn't want our patterns to go inside of it. Anyway, so what I did is I grabbed a half an inch um, binder from Target and some page protectors and 
Um, I just kind of put each pattern in a page protector. So, oops. So I'm trying not to show you anything. Okay, so each, um, and it goes in order. And um, that way I have everything ready to go and they're protected and cheap protectors. Which is pretty cool. It's yes. a pretty cool system that she has here and it's super organized yeah. and... And this does not, I mean it's a half an inch, it does not take up much more room and um, I can easily throw it in my project bag, or in like my bag that I'm keeping everything right. in for that day if I'm going somewhere to stitch. Right. So, yes. Okay, so let's go through, um, let's go through your mania first. Okay. So we have the project of the Witchet Ada, which is, I did not learn. Witchelt. Witchelt, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, did not learn my lesson. I went with Chalkboard Black here, uh, the punishment of Dark Ada. Uh, I think it's going to be super cool on this Merry Christmas Deer. Uh, again, going through the whole Christmas theme. Yeah. Uh, liking Frosty Forest here. I think it's going to be super cool with uh, a black background. Yeah, so that. this is Country Cottage Needleworks, Merry yep. Christmas, My Dear. Yep. Uh, and he's going to do it on chalkboard Ada. Yep. But I also bought a different kind of Ada because I it might be kind of difficult. I'm going to get through it. Not that I don't believe in him. I know he can do, I'll it, do it. But I'm afraid it's going to hurt his eyes. Figure so out. we'll see. Yep. And your plan is to what? Uh, I'm going to alternate... Uh, well, I'm not going to alternate. I'm going to do it an hour a day is my plan. 30 minutes on uh, Frosty Forest and 30 minutes on Merry Christmas, My Dear. Uh, really emphasizing on getting through Frosty Forest first uh, and then uh, put all my focus on the new project for Mania for me. Um, but the cool thing is I'm looking forward to like other projects. Yeah. But, uh, that motivates me to get the projects that I'm done yeah. with, or going to be with done now. Um, to be done. We watched, um, is it Jen? Jen Lee. Jen Lee, 24 yep. hours of cross stitch. She's the lady who did that with yep. her mom. Um, we watched her and her husband, and he was like fascinated. I mean, like, I think his name's Brandon. Yep. His everything he cross stitched, he would like love. I was absolutely loved. Asked. And like his favorite, um, Brandon's favorite video game was Legends of Zelda. Nathan's favorite is Legends of Zelda. Like they were so similar. And so he didn't realize you could go on Etsy and like find different patterns. And so yesterday when he was supposed to be working, he's texting me all these. I was on these... my lunch. Let's make sure <laughs> that people at work, I was on so, my lunch doing this. He was finding some really fun patterns on Etsy, which I thought was pretty cool. Yes. Okay, so that's yours. Um, I got my own bin. Yes, so I found a um, cart at Joann's um, with my coupon. It was like $40, and it has seven of these wire bins. And so that's how I am storing each quilt project for Mania. He has a bin, and then we have a bin I got of a spot. extra cloth. Super, super exciting. You got in a spot studio. in the studio. Yes. yes. Okay, so my first project for Mania is um, Country Cottage, ne Country Cottage Needle. Needleworks Stitching Time. And y'all, this is just so cute. When I first decided to do Mania, this was the first project that I picked. Because, I mean, it's so adorable. And I have everything here in my project bag. This is the larger of the two that I made. And I just took one of the cardboard floss keepers and because it's cardboard and it's, I mean, penny, like less than a penny probably to make this, I wrote on it with a piece of marker or with a piece of marker. I wrote on it with a permanent marker and <laughs> used a safety pin to go through the eye of the zipper and I'm just keeping everything in there. And so this just says stitching time so I know exactly which project is in here. Um, I keep all my floss down in there, and so I'm doing DMC for most of my Mania projects. Um, I've got one Mania project that is our floss, and I am ecstatic because I've wanted to try our floss for a while. So I've got all my DMC here, and I chose to do chalkboard Wichelt, chalkboard Wednesdays. black, 14 count Ada. And I know me, and I know that I will forget what this is. May probably not the chalkboard black, because it's the only company that we use chalkboard black. 
Um, but for some of the other ones in the other colors, I know me and I know when I look at this, I'm not going to remember. So what I did is I just folded up whatever the, um, information is that came out of the packaging and stuck it in my project bag. And it's also written in my cross stitch journal for me to know exactly what I used. So it's like a double check. Yes. That's awesome. So I've got my floss bag ready or my project bag ready to go. So I've got this with its label of Stitch Mania. Right. I have my pattern in my page protector in my binder, and I'm ready to go. This is um, all of my project bags for Stitch Mania in this wire bin, and it sits on top of that seven drawer thing that I was telling you about. Yep. Okay, my next one is um, Glitter House number one from Country Cottage Needleworks. And oh my goodness, I love this Glitter House. Y'all know that I have an extremely soft spot in my heart for villages, as that's um, one of our family traditions at Christmas time. Right. Is uh, Chris, uh, we have a humongous Christmas village. We take over a room. Yes, and so I'm extremely excited to um, do Glitter House. And so I am, here's my project bag for that. This is the smaller of the two. And you can see it's clear vinyl on one side, just like the bigger one is. And it's labeled Glitter House number one. And let me tell you, I am doing this on Witchelt Ada in Lamb's Wool. And it's 14 count. It's a cool color. Yes. It's such a beautiful color. It's like a soft tan. Yes. So here is Lamb's Wool. It's absolutely like such a beautiful, beautiful color. Yeah, I like it a lot. And then I've got all my DMC colors for that. Look how beautiful this spread is. Let me get my big hands out of the way. I just think that's <laughs> so pretty. So it's going to make such a great project. I only laugh if we actually get a comment about move your big hands. So yes. I only laugh when she brings that up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that is Glitter House number one on Witchelt. Okay. I'm going to give that yep, to you to finish it. up. Okay. My next one is um, Country House. I promise I'm doing more than Country Cottage Needleworks. <laughs> It just happens to be this time. Uh, Snowflake Serenade, which I think is super cute. I'm going to say that for every single one of them. Mm -hmm. So just, we should have like a super cute count. Somebody keep a count. How many times do I say super Might cute? Might be a good game. Yes. Okay, so um, my project bag, and I am doing this on, what is this? Lamb's Wool again. Yep. Witchell so Lamb's Wool. And so everything's in my project bag, ready to go. Okay, next is, ah, not Country Cottage Needleworks. Okay, this is um, Jardin Privy, 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 Jardin Privy. We're going to go with that. And it's the Gnomes. Let me show you. It's super, super cute. <laughs> Guys, just leave me be. I'm going to say and it'd be okay. So it's the Gnomes. I think um, that's going to be really, really fun. And I am doing that on, let me tell you. Oh, this one's different. Yay. So I'll show you because it is different. So this is on Vintage Country Mocha 14 Count Ada. Darker. And it's by Zwei Zweigart. And it is such a pretty color as yeah. well. And so um, I think that's beautiful, beautiful color. So this is, I'll show you the label for it. This is Weigart and it's um, through Fat Quarter Shop. Did you already like stitch the, the outside? No, I have not. Okay, so what you're like on the edges? Yes. No, I have not <clears throat> done that yet. It is on my to-do list before Mania starts to serge all my edges. So are yours. you gonna do it before Mania or are you gonna do it when you start the project? I'll do it before Mania so they're all done. Okay. At one time because that's a, special sewing machine I have to get out. And so I would rather just get it out one time than get it out a hundred. Not a hundred, but 16 times. So, <laughs> okay. Sorry, it's gonna take me just a minute longer to do it because I wanna make sure everything gets back in its place. I have gone through these things too many times. Okay, um, the next one is Country Cottage Needleworks May Cottage. For Mania? Mania Cottage. And I am doing these on Witchelt, and it's called Graceful Gray. That's cool. And it is the, um, it's just like a nod. 
like a tip of the hat to gray. It's such a nice color. It's a soft gray. It's that's why I said it's like it's like a tip of the hat to gray. Oh, I didn't know that's what you were talking about. Yes, I it's like you... a like a soft, like a just barely gray. <laughs> okay, so that's May Cottage. <laughs> it's late at night when we're filming this, it so is. it's been a long day. Okay, the next one is Sue Hillis Designs Gingerbread Street. Which I'm excited to Love see this, this. finish. Yes. Our kitchen is decorated in gingerbread for Christmas time. Yep. And so, um, and this one's just going on Witchell 14 count white. Okay. Super simple. So I'm not even going to show you. Just a plain, yeah, plain, plain white. white. Next one is the Patriotic Pen Keeps by Scissor Tail Designs. There we go. Yep. And um, what am I doing this on? White. Just Again. Plain white. Just plain old white. So you got what, three or four different Ada colors? Yeah. That you've done so far? Um, uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay, and then the next one is Brunch at Buttonwood Farm. I gotta take this one out. Brunch at Buttonwood Farm. That's a pretty cool picture of a cow. Isn't that so neat? That is pretty neat. Yeah. So this one is super fun, and I am doing this on. Let's see. What am I doing this on? Oh, this is uh, just DMC um, light oatmeal. That's what this is on. What a cool, just yeah. how they... I already had this laying around, so I thought, oh, that's perfect. That's and it's cool. got, like, this different kind of texture, and not like texture, that. but it's got, just kind like... kind of spot colors in it. Yeah. Yeah. So. so it's not just one solid color. It's, like, a, it's kind of peppered. Yeah, it's got, like, look. a textured look to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one I bought is a kit, and it is Quaker Pumpkin from the, um, what is it called? The Stitcher Hood. And so it is Quaker Pumpkin. And I believe I'm stitching this because it did come as a kit. I am stitching this on Vintage Cloth by Lori Holt. So this is um, Lori it's Holt for Zweigart. Uh, it fits right in. Yes. It's <clears throat> 10 count. So this guy is going to be huge. So it's 10 count and this is oatmeal. That's cool. And then when you buy a kit, or this particular kit, um, all your stuff comes in this adorable little tin. And um, here's your R fill colors. And look, it comes with like one single needle. So we've got our R fill colors there and our little tin. That's another way of organizing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, I just, I'll show you really quick. Everything fits down into a bigger project bag. So we've got that. Okay. And then next is Lori Holt Vin um, Vintage Christmas Sampler. And... This is pretty cool. This is super cute. Yeah, I like I it. need to decide, like, today, um, if I'm doing them as separate ornaments, which I think I'm going to, or if I'm going to do it as one thing. I have a uh, Christmas tree just in our studio. Yes. And so um, I think I'm going to do it as a as ornaments. So and it's make one the project with pillows. many ornaments inside that one, one, one project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So some people would say that's 12 starts, um, but I'm going to treat it as one start. Okay. And I am doing this on Wichelt in Lambswool. Ada. Everything's in Ada. I don't know how to do linen. So. I was going to ask, is there another... Yeah, material. linen or even weave. Like, there's lots of different options. Okay, Santa's, vi Santa's Village, and this is Gingerbread Emporium. That's going to be my next one, and I'm doing that in Graceful Gray. So I'll continue to do all of Santa's Village in Graceful Gray. The next one is Ready, Set, Snow. So adorable, and I love that she sends you the button and everything with that. And that is in Witchell Chalkboard Black. And I'll show, like, as the, as I'm working on it, like, let's say next week I'm working on um, stitching time, I'll show you the pattern again and I'll show you everything that goes with it. Okay, next one is Quaker Tree. And I'm doing that on a white, which is super fun to go. I think it's going to really make that green pop. You only use two colors in this. Wow. Two different greens. But a lot so, of... A lot on of white, I think that's going to be beautiful. Okay, this next one. 
I asked Fat Quarter Shop to special order a color of DMC or I'm uh, sorry, color of Ada for me because I wanted this certain project. I had it in my head that it needed to go in a certain type of Ada. So I am doing um, Snowflake Tree uh, by Scissor Tail Designs, which is super exciting. So adorable, and I am doing it with the called for DMC white thread, white floss. And I am doing it on, I'm so excited I can't even get the words out. <laughs> I am doing it on the most beautiful red Ada. This is blowing out the camera right now. It is so yeah. beautiful. It's a 14 count Ada. They have plenty in stock. Anything that we talk about today, I've already checked. Fat Quarter Shop has plenty of everything in stock. So if there's something you're like, oh girl, I need to get that. Go order it right now in our description box. So this is red. Um, I'm even. It's so bold. It is. It's called Christmas Red. So there's the label, and here is the um, like little code. You'll probably have to zoom in. No, just hit the description box. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make it so, super easy. Hit the description box. Um. So I'm like that is my favorite, and I'm sad it's like closer to the end of Mania, but. I'm so pumped for that one because I know it's going to be super exciting. To so get the word good. We're yes. Get it. Oh, okay. It. The next one is Autumn Acres Farm. Wow, glare. Sorry. Autumn Acres Farm. It's busy. By Hands On Design. It's very busy. Very busy. Um, and I'm doing that just yes. on chalkboard. Ada. So. Is this the first time you've dabbled with chalkboard? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Okay, and then my last and 16th cross stitch pattern is Easter Wednesdays. And that is by uh, Scissor Tail Designs as well. And I am doing that on the Vintage Country Mocha Ada Cloth. Yes. Yeah. So I think you're up to five or six so, different, uh, different colors. Different cloths, different colors, different everything. Um, so. That is the last one. Now I tried to do a really good job. I tried to pay attention when I was working um, with a couple of different people on what I was gonna do for Mania. I really tried to think, okay, do I have some, like I really wanted stitching time, so I had something for my craft room. Um, do I have some Christmas? Do I have some fall? Do I have some um, spring? spring? Like the Easter Wednesdays was like my spring one, you know. Do I have some 4th of July patriotic pin keeps? So I wanted to make sure I had like a good variety of seasons. So I'm really excited about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of gives a, a different so, variety. So again, this is just how I'm keeping it. This is all my project bags and that really cute Lori Holt gingham and the wire basket. So, okay, let's talk quilting because I was so confused on how I was going to do 15 quilt projects. 15 days that like just was not computing in my brain and um, I worked on uh, with a couple of different people um, on on mania projects and um, Kate gave me such a great idea and sending me some quilt kits and I'm gonna break those up into 15 days of quilting so I'm gonna show you the quilt kits and then kind of talk to you more in depth about how I'm gonna break those up so my first kit that I'm going to work on is Norm and Nanette and I'm trying to make sure you can't see the glare. There we go. These are the cutest gnomes you have ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> like I'm dying over these. They're so adorable. Because normally you're not a gnome person. I'm not a gnome, not a gnome person, person, but I'm doing a gnome cross stitch and now I'm doing a gnome quilt kit. Double I need a, nor a, I need a gnome needle nanny or needle minder. I know. So this is um, everything you need to, to do this quilt. And um, here is the backing. And then I've got, if you'll yep, take that. I'll take that. Don't want to. Then I got the kit to do peace, love, and quilting kit. And so I've got all the solids to do that. Super cute. That comes as a kit from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, this was their world, um, uh, little, what, 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 National Quilting Day, World Quilting Day. This was their free pattern for that. And so they sent me the quilt kit so I can do that for Mania. Cool. 
The next one is a table runner kit that we got a super long time ago. Not super long. We got it a while ago in our sew sampler box a few months ago. And um, I think it's super cute and I have not tried it yet. And so I've got this marked as one day. It is called Cherry Pickin'. And uh, we got the whole kit. So if you are a sew sampler member and you got the whole kit with everything, I want you to join along with me and do this. It's going to be so simple. We're going to do it in one day and it's going to be amazing. Awesome. Yeah. So that was one. And you even got the template. Don't forget. Find that little template too because we need that. Okay. And then our last quilt kit is the um, Riley Blake Sweet and Simple Row by Row Sew Along from Tasha Noel. And um, we're going to do that. All of these are going to be mania. <laughs> All. All of them. <laughs> so... Um, this is featuring Simple Goodness by Tasha Noel, and the pattern is by Burlap and Blossoms. So, how am I going to take all of those quilt, <laughs> quilt kits and get them done in a month? Uh, you know, you kept saying that, and I'm super supportive of it. And then when you actually went through this whole thing, it's a lot. It's a lot. I do not intend to get the entire quilt done. I intend to get tops done. Okay. So, all right. Yes. Yeah, so here's what I'm doing for Norman Nanette. My very first quilting day, I'm cutting all the fabric. I'm not even sewing anything that first quilting day. I'm cutting all the fabric for Norman Nanette. Then I have one, two, three, four days to put the top together. And I'm doing a Norm and Nanette each of those days. So question. So, yeah. I don't know if you thought about this. Yeah. And you cut them out, right? Yeah. That's a day. Uh huh. And then I have four days to work on the top. Okay, not in a row though. No. No. Uh -uh. Where are you gonna put the pieces? They. That's why I bought this drawer thing. Got it. That's why I have Sorry. the seven layer was... drawer, so that each kit has a drawer and I can put it all away. Okay. Until. All right. Yeah. I just wanna. I don't wanna be like gnomedified when I walk into the door and the gnomes, gnomes are all over the yikes over the place. Um, and then the next. Quilt project is Peace, Love, and Quilting. I gave myself two days to do that one. And then the next one, I only gave myself one day to do cherry picking because it's a smaller table runner. Okay. And it's totally feasible for me to do it in one day. I'm telling myself that. Um, it would not be mania if it were not mm, complete mayhem. Yep. Okay, and then I'm doing sweet and simple the rest of the time. So one day I gave myself to cut all the fabric for Sweet and Simple. Then I gave myself six days to do, I'm doing a row at a, a day. So the first row. Well, she's you. alternating, right? So, so it's like six this days in a row. first row is one day. The second row is one day. The third row is one day. So. Okay. I have a plan. We'll see how I go. We're going to check back in with you every Monday. Yep. Um, we want this to be such a fun experience somewhere that, and, and it will be nowhere near as long as this floss tube is. <laughs> never again will we have a floss tube that, I can't say never. We do not strive to have floss tubes that are this long. No. Um, but we are so very excited about Mania and we want it to be fun. We want to respect the time that you join us. And know that you have so many other floss tubers that you are watching. And we are very honored that you picked us to watch yes. as well. And so we want to do some giveaways throughout Mania. We want to have laughs. and We want um, to inspire. Yeah. I think we want to inspire. Yes. I think we are just so jumping on the cross-stitch bandwagon to inspire you to think outside of your box. He did not think two months ago that he would be sitting here cross-stitching. And it's just something he picked up and wanted to work on. And so here yeah, he is. it wasn't it wasn't uh, hey, you're going to do this tech guy. It was like, no. hey, I'm going to start mania. I'm like, oh, cool. What yeah. am I doing? Like, I just want to jump in. Right. I think yeah. uh, this whole thing, this dream of ours uh, is just something that we want to do this together. And we want to uh, join y'all with these projects. Yeah. And if there's something that you definitely have an eye on in one of these projects, um, comment below mm -hmm. and we'll make sure that we kind of spend some time on that during the yeah. floss tube um, or during mania so you guys can see what we're doing and if you guys are super interested obviously click on the description below hit that hit that link and, and get it yeah so uh, 
kind of a, a shotgun of all different uh, patterns and types and Adas. Yes. Um, super excited about that red Ada that we got in. Super excited Wonderful. that there's a couple different things that uh, Fat Quarter Shop uh, is keeping in stock yeah. uh, for you guys. And just amazing, amazing journey that we're going to embark on. Um, and I'm super excited. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super pumped about everything with Mania. I'm really, really excited about it. So, um, let us know what you think. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let us know what you think and let us know what you're working on for Mania. Or any tips for me. And Mania. tips, yeah. Tips and tricks and organizational things and yeah. Yes. All right, so we will see you next Monday, um, a few days after Mania has already started. <laughs> and um, we'll see how we are doing. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, you all have a great day and thank you so much for joining us in the Hive.